Hello and welcome back to the official Stan YouTube channel. In this week's video, we're going to look at fitting a line to data. It sounds very simple, right? But actually, there is so much room for error. In this video, you're going to learn not only how to do a simple linear regression in Stan, but also how to make some simple checks to evaluate that your model is correct. We're going to be looking at the IRIS dataset. This is a popular dataset that comes built into R, but if you're not using R, you can use the link in the description box below to download it. The dataset compiles 150 data points of three types of iris flowers, providing the lengths and the widths of the sepals and the petals. Let's say we're interested in quantifying a linear relationship between the petal length and the sepal length of the versicolor irises. We want to know how the distribution of the variate, the petal length, changes as the covariate, the sepal length, varies. In general, we take the covariate on the x-axis. These are the input variables. The covariates are also sometimes known as the independent variables or in machine learning contexts, the features. The variates are on the y-axis and these are the outputs. They can also be known as the dependent or predicted variables. A simple linear regression takes the following form. Where epsilon is a residual error drawn from a Gaussian distribution with a standard deviation of sigma. We're assuming that the observed y scatter around the line alpha plus beta times x. Or in other words, that the distribution of y given x and the parameters of the line is a Gaussian distribution with a mean equal to the line alpha plus beta times x and a scale of sigma. We can then use Bayesian inference to find all of the lines and scatters consistent with the observed data from the posterior. The posterior that we're interested in is this, the probability of alpha, beta, and sigma given y and x. And using Bayes' theorem, we can write it as follows, where this term is the likelihood and this term is the prior. The likelihood term is equivalent to sampling from the following equation. We also need to specify the prior, but it's usually easier to separate them out into separate independent distributions. If we knew that the intercept alpha is a Gaussian distribution about a mean of say three and a standard deviation of one, then the probability of alpha would be equivalent to sampling from this. Let's assume that our domain expertise isn't consistent with an extremely steep or extremely offset lines. We can encode that knowledge into our model by using weakly informative priors, such as a wide normal prior densities that suppress the more extreme model configurations. Ideally, you want to use priors that make sense for your data. If you don't specify the priors in the model, then Stan will assume flat density priors. In this case, you don't have to specify them in the model at all. Stan will be doing all of the work behind the scenes. However, this is not recommended. So in Stan, our model is going to look something like the following. We'll have three blocks, a data block for our data, a parameter block for the parameters that we're interested in fitting, and a model block. The data block contains n, the number of data points that we have. This is an integer with a lower bound of zero since it has to be positive. By specifying it, Stan will automatically check to make sure that the input data is consistent with this bound. It also consists the data x and y observed values. In the parameters block, we have alpha, the intercept, beta, the slope, and sigma, the error scale. We put a lower bound of zero on sigma since it has to be positive. In the model block, we specify our priors on the parameters.
and it also takes the sampling equation from earlier. The observed y is drawn from a Gaussian distribution of the predicted y given x and the parameters alpha and beta, and the standard deviation sigma. Okay, so before we run the model, we have to prepare the data as follows. and then fit the model using STAN. Here I demonstrate with RSTAN. If you haven't yet installed RSTAN, you can check out my other video on how to install it below. I'll also put a link to PyStAN installation if you prefer to work with Python. Easy, so now let's see how STAN did. We can print the fit. STAN has calculated the mean of the best fit line parameters. and plotting on top of the data, you can see it's a pretty good fit. We can also obtain a posterior interval using all of the posterior draws of the parameters and computing the 95 percentile across the X range. Okay, so it all looks good, but there's some more things we can do to make sure that our model is what we expect it to be. We can make posterior retrodictive checks. To do this, we're going to go back to our model and add a generated quantities block. Here, we're going to simulate data from our posterior. We have a vector y underscore sim to store the simulations, and these are generated from a Gaussian distribution about the predicted y value given as alpha plus beta times x, with a standard deviation of sigma. Then we have to run a refit of the model. That means now we have simulated data too. The first check we can do is compare the distribution of our data with the simulated data. Here I'll just overplot simulated data from 10 posterior draws of the parameters. As you can see, it's a pretty good match. If it wasn't, it could be an indicator that the chosen priors are bad. And if so, you would want to go back and explore different prior choices. The next step is to see if we can recover the same parameters from the simulated data. So let's take the 20th draw and replace the observed Y data values with the simulated and refit the model. We can compare the parameters from the observed data and the simulated data. Perfect reconstructions. So there you have it. That's how you do a simple linear regression in STAN and simulate data from your generative model as a model check. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give us a like, share the video, subscribe, and ring the bell.